Hi, I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner and welcome back. And today I have lots to show you. Yesterday the phone rang and it was my granddaughter. And she says, I have something for you, Grandma. Can I drop it off in a few minutes? And I said, yes, but I'm going out shortly, so uh, you'll have to be not too long yet before you can come. I mean, you have to come right now, type thing. So she said, oh, I'll be there in about five minutes. So she was here, and she came in, and she had a, a doll, and she gave me a doll. And she says, I bought this at the auction, and I thought you might like it. And I'm not sure which one it was. Now I was looking at and admiring. And she says, oh, Grandma, I had forgot something in the car. So she came in carrying this great big box full of dolls. <laughs> and she had bought a lot of 12. And she gave them to me. So I want to show you the dolls she bought me. It's great to have granddaughters, I'll tell you, and grandsons, too. But this one lives close to me, so she's always, she drops in on a regular basis. Anyway, this is a little doll that, uh, she's got nice blonde hair, a cute little dress. Now I'm going to give it a, a lot of these dresses, I will give them a wash, and uh, and her pantaloons are pink, and I know they're not original with this doll, which is fine. Uh, I will soon make her a nice pair of white bloomers. And this is a doll, TC, 1992, Jean Pillis, P I L. A-L-L-I-S. So I haven't did any research on these dolls, so I'm going to have to get busy at that. So she's a cutie. And then I have this one, and she's a collection portion a Collectible Porcelain Edition. And uh, she is a nice little dress with a stiffening in it, but the elastic is gone in her pantaloons and her her stiffening, her netting in her dress. So I can easily fix that. And she's a cute, she's a cute little bonnet. Um, this is another one, and I think this is the doll she brought in to show me in the beginning. <laughs> and she's got a cute little dress, but it's getting, you can tell that it's been around for a while, so it needs some freshening up. But they freshen up pretty good, most of them. And uh, she has a little umbrella, or par parasol maybe, she's carrying. And she's a cute little wig and a little bow. I take the bow off if I can get it off. Usually there's just a drop of uh, glue on there that holds them on. And I don't see any name on that doll. This is my little uh, sunflower doll. She's sweet. She's got nice auburn colored hair and she's got a cute little bonnet. And uh, she's got some green shoes. And her pantaloons are in really good condition. I think they were a new pair they put on before they sold her, maybe. So that's another one. Uh, let's see. Better make some room here. Here's another little gal. She's got a nice crimply, I don't know what it is, fabric. And with a sheer over skirt. And some 
pearls and bows and flowers and her teddy bear. She's carrying her teddy bear with her. And they all have shoes with the exception of the angel and one is missing a shoe, but I think I've got a shoe that'll work. And some of them, the elastic has gone in their pantaloons, but that's an easy fix. And I'll show you how to do that. And uh, actually, I do have a video out on how to fix elastic and pantaloons and arms, sleevers. Oops, don't fall over, little girl. There you go. And this is one, after I got home yesterday, I decided I was going to freshen her up. So I took her little dress and her stockings and her pantaloons and I put them in the, in my little peanut butter washer. <laughs> I put some cold water in and add some detergent and I just put the dress in and let it soak for a little while and then I give it a good shake. And if the water is, is soiled, uh, I drain that off and uh, put some fresh water in. And I might do this three or four times, depending on the state of the dress. Or sometimes I'll let them soak overnight. And when I, I usually keep it in the bathroom, so just give it a shake in the bathroom. And uh, then I'll go out and, and uh, forget about it for a while and go back in. And then I just rinse them out. And it's surprising how well they come out most time. This one I didn't even have to press. It was amazing, this fabric. And I did her bow, and it has to be attached yet. Now this one um, is a Heritage Mint collection. And I love this fabric. It looks like it's as if it's embroidered, but it doesn't go through. So it's just stamped on some way, but it's pretty. And this one has a nice bonnet, but the elastic has gone on the back of her bonnet. So I'll fix that. And her pantaloons are a little weak, so I think I'll put new elastic on those as well. But she's a sweet little doll. And those ones I looked at. And then I have this little gal. She is got a pale green eyes and her wig needs to be re-glued. She has this long braid. And this is a velveteen, and she has the ruffled, I forget what kind of sleeve she call those. This one is fine, but this one is breaking down the elastic in it. So I may have to open the seam up and put new elastic in there, which can be done. And... Her pantaloons are a little weak, so I'll have to put some elastic in those as well. Now, I do have a video out on how to put elastic in, but I'll give you a quick demonstration. Oops. This is a nice doll. She's 20-some inches tall, and she has a cute little hat. And it, this is a velveteen with the little her around the on her muff and her sleeves and her pantaloons are a little weak as well and the netting needs to be spread out and pressed so that it'll stand out better and let's see there's my little Oops, my little angel doll. Let me 
you stand up in the corner there. This is my little angel doll, and she has a nice flowing dress with her little lawn curls and her angel wings. Now, she doesn't have any shoes. Now, I don't know, maybe that's the way she came, but I want to put something on her feet because it protects them. And her pantaloons are a little weak. And then I have this beauty. This one maybe is the most collectible of the lot of them. I'm not certain. I, as I said, I haven't had a chance to go through and and uh, but she has a cut velveteen skirt with gold trim, a green little jacket, and uh, her, her bonnet. Now her bonnet, the elastic is gone. The elastic is gone in the back of her bonnet, so I can soon take that piece of elastic out and put some new in. And this one uh, is. Um, A collection, a Canadian edition, and it's 56 of a thousand. So I don't know whether, and this is Pamela. So she's, she's a cute doll. So I hope you enjoyed my, my collection. And please subscribe, touch the bell to be notified, and don't forget to check out my Etsy shop for my, my doll patterns. And thanks for watching. Bye now.